don't know if people are ready for that kind of chaos. <laughs> we'll Either have to way, see. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, starting off with the Gauntlet Hades. They're being put into this corner. Oh yeah, just enough time to put in between the hit and the grab to be able to get, get, get the grab to connect. Ooh, but unfortunately, yeah, wake up, throw protection. It's just long enough for obviously, or for Abister to not get hit by that throw. I'm, I don't know, man. I'm gonna get him confused now. Uh, just remember, you can just say Miyako, and I'm sure that'll no, get the point across. No, that's not. That's not gonna work. You know, that's not gonna work. Unfortunately, not able to connect. Ooh, ooh is that gonna be? That's gonna be enough for the mic Of course, it's gonna be enough. Yeah. E even, even if. He decided to play. Like, he didn't get the three bars for the arc drive. It was still gonna be enough. Throw with the air to air shield. I am really surprised that hit. <laughs> yeah, because usually it clashes, but I feel like he did it just uh, just a little bit later for than the window allows. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I think Abyssin was like, he's gonna do it again. I know he's gonna do it again. But this time, Omnisite's not biting. But getting hit by the cross up once again. Uh, Omnisite's not looking too good. This time. <laughs> oh my god! We did it the same exact damn time! <laughs> the same. The same moment. The same frame, pretty much. That was. Miyako mirrors, man. We had, we, I think we had one in the PS4 side of things. It was about as as blurred as what is going on right here. Look, I gotta say, it was pretty cool seeing just, yeah, just, just both of them doing that and both of the character portraits being the way they were during the cut-in. DP, all right, yeah, and going for the elbow follow-up. Very good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what a 5A. Waking up with violence. That's it's both of them. Just don't want to block on wake up, but Omnisite shows maybe too much violence. Yeah, just a little bit. Not quite beating out that heat activation. Just timing that shield a little bit too early on the cross up elbow. Also, Lon, you played against Miyako. Like, like, when do you want to block against this character? I never want to block against this character, but that, sometimes I feel like I have to. Like, what is she doing? She's scary. Well, too bad. You gotta hold whatever it is. I don't want to block on the Hades. True. And certainly Abister doesn't. Not Abister, either. I, I am throwing shade at these people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's, but he's choosing violence about everything. <laughs> oh my double god! Clash? <laughs> double clash with 2B twice? Crazy. Good block on the cross up. Oh my god, they are. Oh! Okay, I was just like, okay, yeah, your 2B clash is my 2 B's gonna connect. Oh, are they did it again. <laughs> I, who <laughs> they, who they, got they, hit? <laughs> why, why did. So I thought Omni, Omni Scythe was winning. <laughs> Well, it turns out uh, the Miyako confusion continues between both commentators because no, Abister ended up winning that. Yeah, that was. I don't know what's going on, but either way, Abister definitely being very dominant here in the set, showing Omni Scythe the Miyako ways, but we'll have to see how this one plays out. Oh, wow, backdash out of the situation. Backdash. Yeah, good backdash away from that. Ooh! Very, very soft, smart from uh, all these sites there. <laughs> <laughs> Backdash, moon drive DP. I understand why. I understand why he just went in for the OTG 2A, but that was still just so funny to see. <laughs> Oh, obviously though dropping the combo. Ooh, gets hit there with the Moondrive DP. Not going to be cashing out into the kill, but oh, Abister waking up with violence. Omniscythe wanted to go for the elbow, but unfortunately the Moondrive didn't last long enough for it to happen. So he was, he was going to go into elbow to go into arc drive to kill him. 
or something along those lines. But yeah, one drive didn't last long enough. Still got the win, though. <laughs> oh. I think that's the third time I've seen Omni Size 2B clash in a row. This game is crazy. Oh, not gonna be a whip punish though on that DP. Very unfortunate spacing. Yeah, a little bit too far. Oh. Unfortunately, not able to convert, but yeah, I wasn't that. Like that. That should be enough with this elbow activation. Yep, the flashbang. Omni Size firing back with a game of their own. CS finally put in one on the board and like very much an incredibly different pacing compared to uh, the uh, game Avistar is winning. Kind of implying the applying the same game plan as Avistar. I mean, they're both definitely playing the same character, but uh, just got a, a lot more momentum compared to the last two games they played. Starting off strong with that JA. <laughs> Charge for full screen. Okay, yeah, Avistar go getting whiff punished. <laughs> that wasn't backed up. Oh ah! my god. You love to see it, don't you? The Miyako player brain cell, it's definitely here, and we are still opting to press the buttons. No one wants to block. <laughs> I feel like I feel like with that fight B that uh on this ideal on Avistar's uh wake up. I feel like I was supposed to be a Gauntlet Hades, because I've had that happen to me before. But whatever the case may be, Omnisize looking very solid in this game, but unfortunately for him, getting hit by that, Avastor firing back. <laughs> Omnisize ready, this time, for the kind of situation off of that 2B. I'm trying to uh, do something there. Only Scytho locked into the corner, but fires back at Abister. <laughs> they were about to do it again. They were about to do it again. I'm surprised it wasn't a double clash, because it should have oh. I think this match of Melty Blood Type Luna is the most amount of clashes I've ever seen in the entire game, collectively. <laughs> played against me, you know that's not true. I know it's not true, but I would like to believe this is crazy. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Wait, little armor through that, unfortunately, yeah, dropping the cup. Boom, what is happening? I don't know, Abister uh, is dead. Omniscythe swiftly making, the, making it to game five here. This is, this is something. <laughs> That is definitely a word. That is definitely the word I would use for this situation. I agree. All I can say is, uh... Miyako players. Miyako players. Miyako players in their natural habitat. Oh, so many clashes, so many clashes. But either way, Avistar getting their shield thrown out. Oh, unfortunate back dash. <laughs> How many times do I have to see that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good voice line, man. Yes, for sure. Wait, Avistar definitely taking up motors up brunt of the disadvantage. Try to match out of the situation, but Omniscythe ready with the mash and definitely has gone five entire rounds unanswered so far. Let's see if he can keep up this momentum. Call Hades. Like baiting out. That heat activation going to be getting hit with the flashbang. That was a good chunk of life, too. Ooh, yeah, just firing back, choosing the violence, pressing the buttons, equalizing those life totals. Oh, yeah! Able to confirm out the gun of the Hades, but unfortunately dropping the combo afterward. The 2B anti air hit once again, coming in clutch. Interesting, trying to go for a throw there. I feel like he was trying to press something else and got that. Oh, yeah, good. Good 2 2 Oh, well, they are pushing buttons, but unfortunately, Omniscythe pushing buttons better and going to be taking the set 3-2 over Avistar. What a set. That was crazy. 